And those who were seen dancing were thought to be insane by those who could not hear the music. Frederick Nietzsche. When I lived in the US, I often got in trouble for what my kindergarten teacher would describe as fidgeting. The problem was is that I would hum and clap and bang and tap. I believed I was composing wonderful songs at my desk. My teacher disagreed and would complain to my parents that I was annoying and disruptive. So when she called my parents in to recommend a psychiatrist, my parents defended me and told her that I had happy feet, comparing me to the penguin in the movie that made music by tapping. Of course, my parents encouraged me to keep tapping and banging away, just not at school. So that meant after sitting still and quiet all day in a classroom, as soon as I was out, the need to express myself would continue to annoy everyone else around me. I had all of this creative energy, so what I needed was an outlet. I would teach children music, physics, and philosophy. But most importantly, music, for the patterns in music and all the arts are the keys to learning. Plato. Ten years ago, I came to the Green School in the third grade. This was a vastly different experience to what I was used to. It was a school full of nature and fun, and it had its own sound. The marimba. When the high school marimba band would play at assemblies, the whole sankap would turn into a dance party. Seeing the community joyfully come together with marimba left an impression on me. I couldn't wait to take classes with Ibu Jan, the marimba teacher. I hope everyone realizes how lucky we are to have these instruments at Green School. Dumi Maraire, the late husband of Ibu Jan, is actually credited for bringing the sound of Zimbabwean Shona music to the Western world. Although Ibu Jan has left, we are fortunate to have Pak Alex, who played with her and learnt the song so that marimba can continue to be the sound of Green School. From the moment I had the mallets in my hands and started to play, to when Ibu Jan smiled at me and said, you're a natural, I felt validated. Here I am with Ibu Jan's son, Isami. I didn't know it then, but this would be a turning point in my life. This was one of the moments that helped me realize I wanted to be a musician. The Hindu goddess Saraswati represents education, creativity, and music. She's depicted with four hands, each holding a symbolic object. In one hand, a book. In another, prayer beads for wisdom. And in two hands, a stringed instrument called the vena. She's the champion of the arts and all intellectual pursuits. And what she demonstrates is that these pursuits are intertwined. This concept is why I believe that music should be more than just an elective in class, but rather a fundamental part of education. In the animated TED Ed Talk, How Playing an Instrument Benefits Your Brain by Anita Collins, she explains that by using fMRI scans, researchers measured the brain waves of their subjects, and what they found was that listening to music activated every part of the brain. But playing an instrument made the brain light up like fireworks. It activates your brain more so than sports, reading, or doing a math equation. Playing music is like a full body workout, but for your brain. It improves your coordination as you use both hands, and it connects the neural pathways between both hemispheres of the brain. It enhances your problem solving skills, aids in memory retention, and can improve your mental health as it releases serotonin, endorphins, and dopamine. One good thing about music, when it hits you, you feel no pain. Bob Marley. Two years of my time in high school have been during the pandemic. Since we weren't allowed to gather, for me it meant a period of no music lessons, no performances, and no rehearsals. I spent a lot of time alone, and I was uncertain about the future. At least it was a time for me to reflect, listen to all kinds of new music, and listen, and practice. One of the best things about any creative process is how much you end up discovering about yourself. 
The music is not in the notes, but in the silence between. Mozart. In the following song, I wrote the lyrics, composed the musical arrangement, and played each instrument. Producing with the help of my mentor, Kipper Eldridge, who's here today. And the music video was shot and edited by my friend James Teague. The song is called Do You Really Know? And I wrote it thinking about my graduation and going into the world as a young artist. Please enjoy. Do you really know who you really are? That you won't get far. Life inside, inside a jar. jar. Nothing's ever perfect. Do you really know? Do you really know who you are right now? Right now. yet. For my final year at Green School, I immersed myself in all opportunities involving music. I organized sustainable solutions with some of my peers and booked the talents, taught a marimba class to high school students, which evolved into our high school marimba band, Nasi Jingo. I was the music director for the high school production, The Stowaways, and taught drum lessons to younger students. Most recently, I've been able to perform again, collaborating with some talented musicians to write and record original songs. I've created more art in just two months than I have in the last two years. This is our band Mazu at the WO Festival, where I'm on the drums. Thank you, Pac Francis, for giving us the stage. This is my Instagram. 
where you can follow me as I post updates on what I'm doing. Besides performing, it's the behind the scenes of practices and rehearsals where really transformative things happen. When you play music, you learn more than just songs. I learned about commitment. When you have a practice, you don't want to let the band down by not showing up or by being unprepared. Collaboration. When playing music with others, you must learn to negotiate and most importantly, listen. Courage. I learned to be okay with being vulnerable and to share my emotions and what I've created with others. Culture. Listening to music from different time periods and different countries allows us to glimpse into other worlds where we realize we are more alike than we are different. And connection. While performing, you have a connection to the audience. And while composing, you have a connection to yourself. Some say that speech is the most powerful instrument, but don't be bamboozled. Playing an instrument is the most powerful language you can learn. Music has the power to unite us. It can ignite revolutions or convince you to give pizza a chance. In this time of uncertainty about the climate crisis and political unrest, we need to inform, inspire, and unite into taking action. My intention is to create music about these issues that can make an impact. Music has the power to change the world. And some argue it already has. In his New York Times best-selling book, Neuroscientist, musician, and author Daniel Levitin suggests a stunning theory that music is the soundtrack of civilization. When our ancestors gathered together for ceremonies and rituals while banging on drums, it could be that the essential bonds they created were the foundations that made human civilization possible. They communicated by drums over long distances with call and response, preserved traditions, and worshiped through song. When we listen to music, we are not listening to the past. We are not listening to the future. We are listening to an expanded present. Alan Watts. You might have heard people describe going to a concert as a spiritual experience. When you're listening to the music or singing and dancing, everything else just seems to fade away. When we come together to celebrate with music, we share a collective connection that is fully aware. You are lost in the crowd, but also present in the moment and you suddenly realize that you are alive. Have I convinced you yet that music is so much more than entertainment? <laughs> Although that alone is worthy enough. I believe the most important reason to learn an instrument is because it's fun. That's why we call it playing. There's no wrong way to express yourself. Learning an instrument gives you a tool to express the full range of human emotion. I hope I have inspired some future musicians out there to find their own rhythm. Thank you to all my music teachers, Pac Paul, Pac Johnny, Pac Alex, Ibu Jan, Dafi, and Chepi. You've all inspired me and helped me shape my identity and self-worth. I'd like to conclude with a song I wrote dedicated to Green School. Joining me on the marimba, we have Dipta, Tirta, and Guste from Nasi Jingo. Come on up. If you feel inspired, I invite you to hum and clap and bang and tap along. Let's celebrate this moment in time and this place together. Thank you for listening.
from me to you To what we can do To keep the sky blue So call a hijau A blue cow Our roots go deep down It's time to act now Imagination, creativity, different cultures, heal humanity. So sing together this uniting song. We'll make an impact if you sing along. I owe. Let's turn to make a change. I owe. Let's start with what we can today. So go up and do from me to you to what we can do to keep the sky blue. So go la he down, I cook a cow, our roots go deep down. It's time to act now. So go up and boo from me to you to what we can do to keep our sky blue. So go la he down, I boo go cow, our roots go deep down. It's time to act now. Two, three, four!